Hello guys. I uh, bought this EC brushed controller. Uh, I need for I need it for a car. And I thought I quickly show you what it does. So basically you get this and this is actually a good AC because uh, it has a lot of cables and uh, a few nice features um, so basically um, what you need in the first place is to connect the power it takes from 2S to 3S lithium battery uh, and I have here a 2S battery um, and uh, with this power the main function is to power the motor so here where is M1 you connect the motor here is the motor um, and uh, 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 what it does is um, to rotate the motor forward or backward depending on uh, what you want from the remote controller to do and in order to make the link from the remote controller to the power and the motor you need uh, this uh, receiver which comes uh, together with the remote controller and the receiver is connected right here so through this connect the ESC knows whether the motor should run in forward or in reverse so basically those three wires are for the motor uh, driving uh, it also has uh, uh, the they call it LED or light uh, they work together with these two wires so this is uh, is going to the uh, receiver as well uh, because uh, using uh, some other buttons or switches whatever you can turn on or off the light from this uh, uh, lead and uh, you are controlling this through, through this one and the third one it has uh, a buzzer you can connect here a buzzer and it will um, make noise when uh, uh, the power is too low um, the question here is uh, I'm not sure what kind of buzzer because uh, we can have two types uh, you can see here this one is called active buzzer and this one is um, passive buzzer what that means, that means that if you give it 5 volts here, it will, it will make a sound. You don't have to do anything else, just give it 5 volts. Uh, for this one, if you give it 5 volts, it will do nothing. You will need to modulate, let's say, the, the power to, to get a, a melody or something. By the way, uh, It has also um, three modes, three operation modes. So here we have a switch, uh, and uh, it has three positions. Uh, you can control a car with brake on, whatever this means. Uh, you can control a car with brake off, and you can put into the airplane mode. Uh, it comes by default wrapped in this uh, shrink tube and I cannot move the uh, switch but I don't care because uh, it seems that it is in um, car mode break off and this is exactly what I want so I won't cut this to, to, to switch it. Uh, so let's connect everything together. So as I said the first thing is power let's connect the power 
make sure that red wires wires go to red wire okay we have power let's connect the motor right now obviously it is much better um, to connect the power in the last uh, resort but it will work fine like that if we do it uh, very carefully and now uh, I don't have an LED prepared so I will uh, connect um, this wire here and we'll turn on the multimeter to see what's going on on this uh, connection right now we have uh, zero volts okay and uh, channel 2 we'll need to connect to channel 2 here uh, in this uh, particular receiver uh, the ground is the, the last one so we get the black wire and put it to be put it into the ground like that okay and the, the lights cable I will connect to channel number 5 because uh, I'm gonna um, drive it through this uh, switch so that's channel number 5 in my case okay still 0 volts here now let's try to uh, start the motor I'm doing it really uh, slowly So that was uh, uh, forward and this is reverse. Good, and for the lights, if I uh, switch that one, I get 6 volts here. Turn it off, zero volts. Okay. And uh, as I said, to test the buzzer, uh, if it is working, I will need to um, have a lower uh, voltage at the input, which I, I will test that later, not now. Uh, and regarding the L LED, so they say that this is uh, the, the lights but uh, you can actually control from here anything you like you just need to know that uh, you have zero volts or six volts so with this logic you can connect any module you like it's just like a switch you can turn on th something or turn off something and that's all uh, but if you need to connect uh, an led uh, then you will need to put um, resistor in series to make sure that you limit the current to um, right current for that LED um, yeah so that's all bye bye